If you're on a trip to Bali, there is one stop that you cannot miss. That's the charming town of Ubud in the centre of the island, which is also home to some fantastic vegan food. These are our top places. In fourth place is Paradiso, a completely vegan cinema and cafe. This centrally located movie theatre is open for daily screenings and can seat up to 150 people. There's also an art shop and a fantastic selection of vegan organic snacks at the attached raw bar. We only stopped by to sample the cakes, but boy, were they great. I had the chocolate triangle, which was a dense chocolate cake served cold with a nice layer of rich chocolatey icing. What an indulgent treat. So I had the zesty lemon carrot cake. Also served cold, this one came with a lovely layer of lemony frosting. I enjoyed how easily the fork glided through. They also served a range of vegan sandwiches, rice bowls, and, if you're heading up to the theatre, vegan popcorn. The food looked and tasted good, with prices starting from around the $2.50 mark, making for an excitingly different kind of vegan experience. Taking the third place spot is Pumpkin and Beetroot. Located around the corner from Ubud's famous monkey forest, this veggie vegan restaurant specialises in both Asian and Mexican cuisine. We love the artwork on the walls and the open front which let the cool air breeze in and allowed for some people watching too. I went down the Mexican route and had their soft shell tacos which came with seasoned lentils, guacamole and some tofu feta. All of these flavours mixed well together and made for a very enjoyable lunch. Though, be warned, this one is very messy. Mike may have gone Mexican, but I stuck to their roots with this Asian-style vegetable fried noodle dish. It came packed with bok choy, edamame beans and spongy tofu. The flavours were subtle but delicious in this filling and healthy lunch dish. Overall, this place slightly edges out the cinema due to its variety of food options. I mean, this is about food after all. Prices are a bit cheaper too, coming in at around 25k to 55k IDR per meal. Second place goes to Pizza Cult. Do you like pizza? Do you like cults? Uh, well, maybe not the second one. This modern and entirely plant-based pizzeria provided a quality of Italian food that we found it hard to come by in Southeast Asia. They had a really innovative menu that combined classics with some more creative toppings, even a pear and gorgonzola pizza. They also offered gluten-free dough. Both the pizzas we ordered looked absolutely breathtaking. I went for their mock pepperoni pizza, and if there's one thing I miss, it's pepperoni and other varieties of spicy sausage. And this take on one of the most traditional of all pizza toppings did not fall short. The flavours were great and the dough was delicious. The only thing that could make it better is an extra sprinkling of cheese. Meanwhile, I chose the Smoky Jack, which was pulled jackfruit and tomatoes sprinkled with their homemade cheese. It tasted great, though sadly when we checked, neither of our pizzas are on the menu anymore as they like to rotate their options regularly. Overall, a little pricey, but that price comes with quality. Coming in at around 80k per pizza, expect to be full and satisfied. And in first place is Shibagana Warung. Now this fully vegan restaurant was a little further out of town, but it sure was a hidden paradise for food. Away from the busyness and traffic of central Ubud, there's a sign as you walk in explaining that the wait times here are a little longer because all of their food is home cooked fresh to order. The prices are extremely cheap too, which absolutely blew our minds because the quality of the food was incredible. You might recognise this place as we've already shown it in our Gardo Gardo video. If you want to watch it, hit the link appearing on your screen now. Mike's just given it away, we did order Gado Gado, but we also had some lumpia, Indonesia's take on the humble spring roll. The Gado Gado was freshly cooked as promised and blew my socks off. Literally, I don't know where they went. Yes, I completely agree with Kyra, it was incredible. I'm just so devastated we visited this place on our last day so we couldn't try more from the menu. But Mike, you're forgetting the lumpia. They were crunchy, crisp, Kind of like a McDonald's apple pie with that light pastry, but instead of apples, they were filled with crunchy, tasty veg. Overall, this place gets a fantastic score due to its wonderfully cheap prices and its incredible quality. The serene surroundings create almost meditative vibes, so make sure you don't miss this place next time you're in Ubud. Thank you so much for watching. If you didn't already know, we're on Instagram, 
Facebook, and have a website where you can read an extended blog on this topic. If you haven't already, please click the subscribe button, like this video, and check out our channel. We have lots more like this and even more in the pipeline.